Hi guys and welcome to a uh, Lloyd Garmadon fan. Um, so today I am actually Danica Ronnie Twenty One. Uh, if you guys are wondering, um, if my voice is really weird, it's because I'm sick right now. So my voice will not sound as weird in videos. Um, but in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own um, Zane Season Eight hairpiece. Now, as you can see, it's already silver. But in a second, I'll pop up a picture on the screen um, of what the hairpiece used to look like. But right now, you can see what colour it used to be. Um, but at the end, I'll pop up a little picture on the screen next to him, maybe. Um, but right now, uh, so I'll pop up a picture now of what minifig you're going to need, or the minifig I used for it. So there you go, you can see what um, minifig I used to get the image right on there. So what you're going to need to make this minifig is actually you're going to need Zane's movie hairpiece. Um, and you're going to need a, preferably a Hands of Time Zane since I want to assume you guys have all seen the little 11 minute sneak peek. But uh, in the, this is just a custom Zane I've made just until I get this out. And also don't ask me to review any movie stuff because these are just TV show. Cole's back as well. I moved Cole. Okay. That's Cole, custom Cole face. I might show you guys how to make custom faces. But um, so what you need, you need the hands of time face, because that is the face that he has in the new in the new season. Um, don't know how often he'll have his robotic robotic face, um, because in the trailer that was just out today, um, you know the crack on he had pretty much the yellow skin color. But yeah, you're gonna need the hands of time face because if you use his original. Um, Ninjago face, robot face. Um, not his original, original, but like the, the first time he was titanium. Um, then you're gonna have the problem of having his second face on the back, which was covered up before, but now he has a shorter hairpiece. So basically, what you just want to do is it's originally that color there, but I just you know, you slowly take a sharpie and it actually does need touching up there. So as you can see, like, there's totally paint over it and. Then once you wait for it to dry, it'll cover up and it'll look really nice and shiny. And it does work very well, might I add. It, it fits pretty well, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, sorry if that wasn't very clear. Um, but, yeah, so once you've done that, you just add it onto your zane. And you're pretty much good to go. Don't paint the inside, though. But, yeah, it takes a while to get used to, but you get used to it after a while. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Zane's new hairpiece anyways, because it did not look like he was using his original one. But this is definitely bigger than I expected. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and this has been Lloyd Garmadon Fan. Uh, so thanks for watching, Lord Lloyd Garmadon Fan. It's my first video, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Also, if you see in the background, there's some dragons. I'll be doing those for my next video. Bye.